Good morning. Happy Good Friday, everyone. Thanks for coming today. Let's see who is here. Got to get make sure that I get everybody set up. Make sure that my setup is right, too. Good morning, Debbie. Thank you so much for coming today. Good morning, Miss Janice. Thank you for coming today. And Christine, thanks for sneaking in. Hey, Dolores. The UK is in the house, y'all. As well as Kentucky. Kentucky's here. Hey, Michelle, thanks for coming today. I am super excited. Y'all, it's cold in Texas. It is like 53, 55 degrees outside, and it's 60 degrees in the house, or 63 degrees, and I am freezing, and it is April 2nd, so I guess the joke's on us, April Fool's Day. So I'm super excited about today's sale. Um, I'm going to try to um, move it along quickly, but I like to chat. That's just who I am, y'all. Um, but I do know that um, there's a couple of other sales. I know that Miss Pamela and um, Miss Pamela and, oh my gosh, I just went totally blank. blank. Chapter two, Alex, sorry, um, have a sale at one. Hey, Kim, thanks for coming. Yeah, that's summer over in the UK with 50 degrees. Um, but I want to, I know they have a sale and I like to go to their sales too. So, you know, part of me getting through my sale is that I can go to other people's sales. So um, it is my Friday or my Saturday. So um, since just my good friends are here right now, let me tell you something. I went to bed with wet hair, like sopping wet hair last night. And some of my friends can attest that when I woke up this morning, it was all going everywhere. I tried straightening it. I tried blowing it out, everything. And let me just tell you, it didn't work. So up in a bun, it went. So that's where we are today. Hey, Miss Sarah Lee. Yes, Sarah, uh, Catherine is going to have a sale today too. So we just need to kind of move it along this morning. Hey, Mama. My mama's here, y'all. Miss Bella Rose. Hey, Dad. Hope you had a uh, good birthday. We were worried. I sent my dad some things from Bucky's here, some of those beaver nuggets. Now, if you're from Texas or have a Bucky's, you know what beaver nuggets are. And um, they're like a ginormous, I don't know, sugar smack. How, how would y'all describe those? But anyway, I sent him a box for his birthday. Well, that was yesterday. And um, it said it was delivered, but it wasn't there. And I was like, somebody scooped him for his birthday present. I was going to be so mad. Um, and today is Lovey's daughter, Macy's birthday. Um, and so happy birthday to Macy today. We've already recorded a video to sing happy birthday to her. Oh, to be 23 again, y'all, to be 23 again. Um, so I'm so glad to see so many people are in. Hey, Groovy Vintage. I'm so glad to see that y'all are back up and running. Um, and we were sending prayers your way. But we're glad to see that y'all are back and up. Groovy Vintage to y'all check them out. They have a great YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying to get caught up this weekend on all of the videos. I literally go through my subscriptions and I watch one of each and then I circle back around and try to watch one of each while I'm also doing the sales. Um, so let's see. We've got about 16 people in the chat so far. Make sure that you go ahead and um, give the video a thumbs up. Yes, Carrie. So they don't have Bucky's in South Carolina yet. I think they're supposed to be getting one. And so when I go to Bucky's, like when I go to my shop, if it's birthdays or something like that, I get beaver nuggets and beef jerky for my dad and beaver nuggets for my mom because they love those things. And so I send them. Um, but you know that that's like gold. And that place was hopping the last time I went. Oh, my gosh. It was beaver nuggets, Kim. Um, I don't know. Carrie, how do y'all, Dolores, how would y'all explain those? Um, that they're... It's almost like, I think of like a sugar smack, but they're 
they're little pieces like this and they're like puffed, I guess puffed sweet. I don't know what they are, but it's, it's a sweet, it's like a giant popcorn kind of thing. Um, yes, Dolores. Hi, Vestments and Vintage, new subscriber. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm so excited to have you here today. Um, oh, Christine, you got a Bucky's in Florida. Go there just to hang out and get gas and drive home. It, it's a lot of fun. Sweet, salty puffs of yum. That's right, Janice. Thank you. Cheese puffs, except it's coated in caramel. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. So all of those. Oh, Carrie, the closest to you is an hour. You would think they'd have one near um, where you are. That's awful. So let me just say when, not if, but when I get down there, Carrie, I definitely will bring you some. Yes. Hey, Mary Jo, thank you so much for coming here today, for joining us. Um, I, it looks like everybody that has Good morning, old stuff, Beth, Reverend Beth. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, and I think I saw Stephanie, Thrifting Adventures. She just dropped her kids off to school. So thank you for listening as you're driving. Um, did I miss it? Oh, no, Mom, we were talking about beaver nuggets. You didn't miss any anything. I know you want would like to have some beaver nuggets. You and my uncle would like to have some. By the way, I have y'all's Easter stuff. So don't worry, it'll be just a late Easter stuff. Um, so I'm going to, I have about 40 items today and I know that's a lot for me, but they're small items. I have several smalls today um, in the lower price range. I just saw that I had so much that fit this time of year. I do have some Easter, I have a couple of linen. So I'm going to try something new. I've never really had linen in things before. Hi, Sally. Thank you so much for coming. Angelic Vintage Treasures. Um, that is Debbie Vital. And oh, good. I'm so glad you got your card. And I hope that you are feeling better um, because I have been in your shoes and that stinks. That so stinks. And I hope you're doing so much better. And I'm glad you got that. So I'm going to go ahead and just say the rules. I think that everybody. Um, that's been here, that's here right now has been to a live sale before. Mine operate just like everybody else's. Um, I have some items to share with you today. Some are vintage, some are a little bit more modern. Um, most of it is home decor. I do have a few pieces of ephemera and like I said, some linen. Um, and I will show the item, give you a each item a number and a price. If you are interested in um, getting that item, you will put the item's number uh, down in the chat. It is the first person that I see on my end to be able to have the opportunity to claim that item. Um, then at the end of the sale, I put all of the things that you bought together. I package them up and get the weight and everything using Pirate Ship. I will send you a PayPal invoice. Um, and then I ship out of Texas. It's the Houston area. So I'm kind of right in the middle of everybody. Um, so one of the things that I need to say is when you, at the end of the sale, I don't require anybody to pre-register, but if you will, at the end of the sale, if I do not already have your information, meaning you haven't bought from me before, please send your first and last name that you go by in a legal basis, your mailing address, whether that be PO box or um, an actual resident or business address. I send my stuff to my office um, because I'm there more than home <laughs> and uh, make sure it's got the zip code with it. Make sure that I get that. And um, your PayPal information. If you can remember all the items that you got, great. If you can't, I do have an old school. I'm like the majority of everybody else. I'm old school. I have um, a list here that I will write your name down for. So I think that's it. Y'all let me know if I have missed anything. We're still talking about Bucky's. Um, Yes, there is fudge also at uh, Bucky's too. Oh, yes, this is a live sale, Christine. Thanks. You know, you can always count on your friends. Um, yes, mom, thank you for reminding me that, for reminding everyone to hit that like button. 
Uh, they have brisket tacos at yours. See, I'm not a brisket eater. We just really don't have that. We're a pork state. So, hey, a curious cat from Kentucky. Thank you so much for coming. Kentucky in the house today representing. Um, and hey, Lorianne, Sugar Bridges, thank you for coming today. Um, I think I've gotten everybody and there's 30 people here. I want to go ahead and get started. I want to get through everything. Um, I've got a couple of people. Um, Dolores, Miss Dam Jewelry is going to be helping me to catch who um, claimed the items today. She's practicing because she has an upcoming live sale with Miss Pamela Blanchard soon. So that should be fun. Um, and at the end, when I'm wrapping up, I'm going to tell you guys to start posting your things that you've got coming up on your channel. I know that Michelle um, has some stuff. I've got some stuff and other people. I know Kim has a sale. Stephanie's got a couple of sales. So I just want to make sure that we get an opportunity to put all of that in today. Yes, we do love a pig in um, South Carolina. That should be our like state animal, our go-to. Um, the kolaches. You know, I never knew a kolache before I moved here. They're not my favorite, but I mean, I'll eat them. Don't get me wrong. But we have Krispy Kreme. So Krispy Kreme is is like the bee's knees. It's like manna um, over there. And they come fresh, hot off the little boat, the little, you know, like the little donut boat or the little conveyor belt thing. And they drizzle all that yumminess. Oh, and there's a Krispy Kreme on Westheimer here. So, oh, all right, so let's get started. Um, yeah, when they're fresh, Carrie, they're they're really good. They're really good. So let me get started with my first item because I know the first uh, couple of items, I usually, everybody in the sales, we circle back through them. So I, not Shipley's, Dolores. You're about to be banned. There's no Shipley's. Although their cake donuts are really, 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 really good. Um Oh yeah, mom, they're not possum people. So let me just tell you how country we are. Let us just stop right there. Um, the county next, is it a county, mom, or city? I don't know. It can't, can't be a city. There's not even a, tri a stoplight there. And um, where is that? Wedgefield? Not Wedgefield. They have a possum trot. And it's a festival de denoted for to possum and they have possum barbecue. They have coon dogs that run possums up the tree. I mean, it's just like a deliverance show y'all. So if ever in South Carolina, go to the possum trot festival, I guess. Uh, anyway, I, I don't, Oh, um, no, Michelle, yuck. Possum barbecue is disgusting. Ugh. Pinewood, Pinewood, South Carolina. There you go. Pinewood, the big old town. I think they got two stop signs, but they got a whole thing devoted to a possum festival. So anyway, hey, Gritty Grit. Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, I don't know because they don't ship their uh, Bucky's beaver nuggets and stuff like that. You can't get that on their website. Um, okay. Hey, Tina, thank you so much for coming. All right. Let me show you my first item. Since it is Good Friday, I wanted to start with this little beautiful figurine. And it is just a little ceramic cross, but it has beautiful Easter colors in that. It does not have any maker or anything noted on there. It is a thinner ceramic. Um, let me tell you how tall it is. It'd be perfect in a little Easter display or what I thought was maybe it was baptism cross. But as I got to looking at it, it's all uh, about four and three quarters inch tall and three inches. So four and three quarters inch tall by three inches this way. And this little ceramic glazed cross is $6, number 70. So if you are interested in claiming an item, go ahead and put the number 70 in for this item. Hey, Lori Blue Flamingo, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad to see everyone and make sure that I'm not missing anything in the chat. If you need something for me to see, please put it in all caps. Um, yes, Michelle, thank you. We're going to let uh, Dolores practice announcing the winners 
um, of items in the chat and Michelle's going to kind of be watching for her backup because Dolores needs to practice for her new upcoming sale. All right. The next item that I have is a set of three. It's three little bears. They're from Home Co. Um, thanks, Carrie. And um, they are baseball bears. But here is the batter bear. He is so darling. Doesn't Home Co. make the cutest stuff, y'all? But I just love these little bears. Great detail in the paint and all. Here is the batter. He is number five. And then on the defense team, we have a catcher. He's on the blue team. He's number three. And no, that's the pitcher. I just lied. And I played softball forever. That's the pitcher. Eh. Anyway, here's the catcher. Isn't he cute with all his gear on? It looks like he's number two, but you can't really see. So there are three of these super cute bears. I actually brought a book. Look at me being prepared. Who would know? Um, that I'm going to show you the bears. If I can show you them all three to you at the same time, I want to show his little face because he's super cute. All three of the baseball bears for the set of three is nine dollars, number twenty nine, nine dollars, number twenty nine for the baseball bears. They do have cute little bums, Beth. Look at that. <laughs> It's all those squats from being a catcher. Trust me, I know. I couldn't be a catcher now. I couldn't even run bases anymore. Um, I might could hit, but I'd have to have a designated hitter <laughs> because I definitely couldn't play catcher anymore because I can't even bend down to pick up something that fell on the floor. So I see pickled tink. Thank you so much. And I hope you're doing well too. I think that y'all have some stuff going on um, at your house. So thank you, Dolores, for putting that in. That number 29 went to Pickled Tink. Okay. The next thing that I have is just a really simple um, Easter decor piece. It has absolutely no marking on this, but it's called Bride Bunny. When I looked it up, it was called Bride Bunny. And it does look like there's a little Bride Bunny and she's just sitting here. I thought it'd make a cute little trinket dish. Um, or for like rings and things just for Easter decor, or, you know, I have 6,500 of those little speckled eggs. Those might be cute in there too, but this one is only $4 and she is number 66. This is the back and there's no marking whatsoever, but I did find one and it's called a bride bunny. So I thought she was cute. And that is $4, number 66. And I'm going to put her bears over here because those went to pickled tink. All right. But I thought that little bride bunny would be so cute with a, um, with in a little decor piece. All right. The next one is now, Christine and I were, they were shopping with me virtually one day, and I found um, this little 1989 tin. It's made in Hong Kong, and it's the Funny Felines. It's called a coupon tin. It's got some bangs and stuff in it, but look at these little cats for the coupons, and I think that um, it's got graphics on every side. It's just a little rectangular. Hey, Judy, how are you? But it's just a little rectangular. I'm not sure. I know people still do um, coupons. This is the inside of it. And it is, let me tell you a little bit about that. That is about six and a half inches long and about two and three quarter inches wide and about three inches tall. So this is a 19, oops, upside down. Sorry, y'all. 1989 Funny Felines 10. I thought you could use it for pins or package toppers or coupons or whatever, but cat treats. But it's $4, number 42. $4, number 42. 
Yeah, that's right. Don't call nobody late for dinner. Oh, good. You're getting that off your leg. Michelle, you want the, the cat tin? I, I saw Pickle Tink's, um, her post on Instagram, and I was like, oh, my gosh. When is she going to get that off? That would be, I had my finger ripped off. Yes, ripped off um, when I was in high school. And it was constant with all of the 12 pound cast and sleeping, sitting straight up. It was awful. So I can imagine how uncomfortable you were with that. Hey, Catherine, we were just talking about getting, going through my sale kind of, um, without a lot of chit chat, which is hard for me because we want to make sure that we send people over to your sale and then Alex and Miss um, Pamela's next. So thank you for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Um, Michelle, Michelle thinks she's funny. Okay. Mother's Day is coming up. Don't forget, you wouldn't be here without your mother. So I have a little um, mother plate and I want to show it to you first. It's just a little decorative plate, but I thought this would be really cute. Maybe like sitting either on a wall or in a stand with pictures of you and your mom, you and your grandmother or something like that. It says, mother, God made many lovely things, sunsets and flowers and trees, birds and starlight and loyal friends. And after he made all these, he gave another gift more rare, more loving and more true a wonderful person, most fair, a mother dear as you. And I thought that was really, really pretty. Oh gosh, fifth surgery on your leg in 14 weeks? No, ma'am. I'm so sorry you're going through that. Hi, Christina. Thanks for coming. Hey, Susical. So this little plate is $8 number 52. $8 number 52. Good morning, Miss Jeannie. You're not late. We're just getting started. But I thought that would be great with some pictures of um, you and your mom around. I thought that would be super cute. All right. The next piece is a piece of ephemera. Y'all, if I go too fast, let me know because the lag is pretty bad. So I can't really, I'm not, it's not easy for me to gauge on this end. But the next piece is a piece of ephemera. It's another Needlecraft um, magazine. And this one is from, I want to be careful with the pages, but this one is from April 1918, if you can see right there. Um, this one is a smaller book. I think there's only 12 pages. There weren't any really big ads in there. There are, let me show you, I want to be really easy, but there are several ads on the sides. And a lot of this is about doilies and decorations. Now, some of the other magazines, and I have another one, um, Needleworks, Carriage Sets. I'm trying to find some of the ads. Oh, y'all, here's another one of those stories in there. I'm going to have to get Katie to read one of these. But these are like little novellas, if you will, but little... Um, little short stories of that are placed in these women's magazines. And I've been reading a few of these and I think they're super cute. So this one only has the one really good ad that I think, I mean, there's several good ads, but the one really good ad that I like in this one is right in the middle and it's a corn puffs ad. But I thought this would be great for junk journaling. Um, but that's the one really big one. It's got um, several other ads. Most of them are like house decorating ads. Um, there is some gardening ones. This one is like for furniture. So I wanted to um, offer this one. And there's only, I think I said 12 pages in this one that I counted. So it is $6. This 1918 Needlecraft April edition is six dollars and number 30. Six dollars number 30. Yes, that is, it is regular teeny tiny print, mom. <laughs> regular teeny tiny print, yeah. And even with these glasses, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm not, I'm like D. I got those progressives and I'm not 100% on that. Lori, Lori, your journal is gonna be so cool. She's been getting a lot of 
the ephemera that I have. Um, and I can't wait to see your journal. I think that is going to be so cool. Um, so make sure that you post some pictures, maybe. Thank you so much for picking that up, Lori. All right. The next is an Afghan. So, of course, I had to consult the Afghan queen. And I did post this on Instagram. I love the colors in this, y'all. I just love it. But look at these colors. I want to show you this first. And I will call it a baby size. It is 32 by 32. So it is square. I'm going to hold it up. But to add a little bit of color, maybe like just on the back of your chair, um, like if you have an armchair or um, my mom and dad had the recliners that rocked and that's where we all kind of fight over the seat. But it is 32 by 32. I love the colors in this. It's got the beautiful spring colors. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty just to kind of throw over for a little bit of color. And then if you got chili, you could put it up against you. Um, she's M Christine, the Afghan queen says you can also put it as a centerpiece for a table to stage on. Well, I did not think of that. So there you go. It is only $10 and it is number 65. $10, number 65 for the spring baby size Afghan. Again, it is 35, 32 by 32. I'm sorry, 32 by 32. That'd be a good idea, Christine. I like that. But I think the colors are just so pretty. Or for a grandbaby, yes. Or for a grandbaby. I don't have any of those, y'all. <laughs> okay. So let me see. I'm going to show something this time that I, um, Norma Jean, that's right. You've got a grandbaby. Miss Jeannie, that's right. You've got a grandbaby coming. So I will get that to you ASAP. Thank you so much for picking that up. I have another piece for that's baby. So stick around for that. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to show this, these again, because after the video came out, there was a lot of interest. And I really try really hard not to put things in live sales until the hauls have come out. Um, but of course, this is my second job. My first full-time job is about 40 to 50 hours a week. So I try really hard, y'all, but sometimes it skips. But there was a lot of interest. And somebody um, asked me to show these again. These sweet little kittens. Do y'all remember seeing these? And I want to show their face because they do have some whiskers. Now, I did not scrub hard, but Christine did tell me there were some scuff marks on them when I showed them the first time. And I took a magic eraser and those came off. But I didn't want to touch their little faces because I'm not certain that that's not cold painted, if you can see that. But I love their little blue eyes and their mouths and their whiskers. These are so cute. Um, yes, I have, I have a grand niece and now a new grand nephew, Sebastian and Camilla, and, um, they are great. I get to spoil them. I get to shop for them. I get to love on them. And then I get to send them home with their mom. <laughs> so, um, because I am um, around kids all day at my school, but I love the little ones, the little ones. So these two little white kittens, y'all, they come as a set of two. I, they do have a little couple of places on their paws. These are so cute. They're going to be $6.00 number 78 for two white kittens six dollars number 78 all right i love these little white kittens all right hey miss sue golombeski thank you so much all right now i see um, i see a curious cat for my two kittens a curious cat. Thank you so much for coming today. I've seen you in several other live chats. So it's the same. Just send me your information at the email that is right over here. And um, I'll get those sent out to you unless you are a different name. And I've already got you in there. So just let me know. That would be fun. All right. And did I get that right? Was it a curious cat, y'all? 
I'm looking for, yes, thank you so much. All right, the next thing is, I had another one of these that was the fall, um, but this is the spring. This is a hand-painted set of, um, it's almost like restaurant wear because it's thicker, but it is hand-painted and it is signed. It's a medallion sterling china, but I love this little cup and saucer. Do you see the pattern on that? And I'm gonna show you that on the bottom, let me see, is the my price tag for the shop because apparently it was at the shop and I went and picked it up. It is signed, I think it's H Gatlin, and then it is initialed on the cup. It is so pretty, y'all, it is so pretty. But um, I thought like I'm gonna be, this is just one little piece, but with some flowers in that, that would be pretty as well. But it is the cup and the saucer. I just loved it. It is $12, number 21. $12, number 21. Hi, Terry. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for coming today for your first time. I appreciate that. I've seen you in the chats as well. All right. Cup and saucer was 21, right? Okay, I said that. I want to make sure that I get that right. Yes, mom, I did. I like that a lot. All right, let me see. The next item is my first offer up. Beth, is this the is this the sale you're having today or are you having another one at four? No, I'm not having another one at four. Did I say that I post that I was having another one at four? Ah, I hope not. I think it, it, this is the only one I'm having today. Miss Norma Jean, thank you for asking. Did I put it in there? Y'all make sure that I'm not missing anything. The next one is my first offer up and my offer up is going to start at $12. I did um, feature this on my, um, on my Instagram and it is the, hummingbird music box so it is made in japan it is the san francisco music box company it is a plastic material and i cannot tell i rubbed it really hard and i smell something but i don't know what the smell i'm supposed to be looking for so let me just tell you this is now when i first got it it was broken well it didn't play i'm gonna, not going to say it was broken i'm going to say it didn't play and i was devastated but i figured out how to fix it yay me um all right so yes for the thank you michelle um i am not going to use a timer people have said that they prefer that we let other people um just kind of y'all decide when it's done but this is the front i do want to show you that that it has a beautiful hummingbird on there. Um, and I'm gonna wind it just a little, but we I played the music. What is the song? Uh, Wind Beneath My Wings, I think is what it's called. And I just wanted to play a little bit of that. There's the little piece, but it do, it's very clean. It has the compartment here and the compartment for rings. The mirror is in, there's my junk and in inventory for y'all. So, but this is the mirror. It is in perfect shape. There's no scratches or anything to that, but it does work. I'm gonna do made in Japan. So if you're interested, it starts at $12. Go ahead and put in your bids. I've already started it at $12, but it is, let me give you some measurements. It is seven and a half inches long by five inches wide by two and three quarter inches tall. So it is um, a good size and it is in working order. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a timer. Thank you for asking about that. Oh, okay, good, Miss Jeannie, because I d was like, oh my gosh, did I say? I have Susical at 12 and Sally, hi Sally, at 13. And I also saw Lynn Hampton sneak in. Hi, hi Lynn, how are you? Um, and so let me just show it to you again. There, now there's a, there is 
glazing on the flower. So in the background, which is dull, is the is not dull meaning it's not a glaze. The blue and the green flowers, but the bird, the bird and the flowers are gla are glazed. Um, but it is beautiful. Right now I have Sally at 13. And again, this is the inside. And it does work. So I want, and that's the little button. That's why I, I pulled. Did I measure it? I did, and I will measure it again for you. It is seven and a half inches long. Like this. And it is about five inches tall this way and it is when it's on when it's seated because it does have some little feet it is almost three inches tall but it does have the little feet so this is not the bottom that it rests on i see susical at 14. sally is out Thank you, Sally, for letting me know because I forgot to say that. If you're out, um, let me know. So I see Susical at 14 for the music box. If there's any other um, people who are interested, your bid would start at 15. And it is made at Japan. And it is the San Francisco Music Box Company. No, you're fine. Is it Bakelite? I don't know, mom. Why did you ask me hard questions? <laughs> so Bakelite is the one where you rub it and it smells, it has a funny smell, right? Is that right, y'all? Because I was, I rubbed it and I smell something, but I don't know what the smell is supposed to be. Okay, what is this? It smells like antiseptic. It, it's very faint, but it to me, I don't know. I'm going to say it smells like, um, is that a hospital? <laughs> it kind of smells like ammonia, Beth is saying. It's faint. You can smell something, but it's faint. So I, it doesn't like knock me out or anything. But I have Susical at 14. <laughs> And now she's laughing because I'm smelling a music box. But um, if there are no other um, people interested, then I'm going to start the countdown. Oh, thank you, Curious Cat. You would know if the smell was there. Um, good, because I'm like, I don't know. And then I'm thinking, oh, my God, I can't smell. Did somebody give me the rub? <laughs> you know, everything crosses through my mind. It doesn't knock me out right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and count down. Um, and it is, I'm going to count down from five. Uh, Susical is at 14. Yeah, I won't lick it. Um, five, four, <laughs> three. It's a very different smell. She says two. I'm telling y'all, you never know. This is hot mess express over here. I tried to tell y'all that in my introduction one and I'm, it's going to be sold to um, Miss Susical for 14, it's 14, right? All right. And so Miss, um, Dolores, if you will put to Susical, um, it is on there. All right. Now I'm going to make sure that I wrap that up really good because as I was really working hard on fixing that, and I was so excited that I learned a new trade. Look at me going to trade school, learning how to fix a music box. Thank you so much. So the next is a little, um, just a cute little figurine. It is going to be $6. It is, um, I want to make sure that it says, it says bone China. It says pure bone China or something like that. And the here's the sticker. Let me show you. But you can't really see because it's kind of worn off. But it is a little, I guess, a goose. This could be a duck. But so super cute. It is going to be $6. And it is number 32. 
six dollars number 32. hey hey julie bernice marie vintage i think it's julie right if i remember that everything going good over there with y'all there you go I know y'all had some stuff going on too. Duck, duck, goose. There you go, Michelle. Pick one. It's a feathered fowl. That's what I always say. Um, so that was the little bone china duck. All right. The next is a set of five things. And I believe these are called salt spoons, but I've also seen them called jam or sugar. So I don't know, but it's a set. It is a set of five spoons and they all have the a different flower on the top. So here are the five spoons, right? I'm gonna show you the individual. This looks like a rose. And on the back, it says Holland. On the back right here, imprinted is Holland. But let me show you the shallowness. Now y'all tell me, is this a sugar, a jam, or a salt? It's a set of five. This one looks like a little, I don't know, is this a iris tulip? I don't know. My flowers outside are so dead right now. Um, and they go together. This, no, this looks like an iris from the Swan Lake Iris Gardens. I know that. That looks like a little iris. This one looks like a sunflower or like a big daisy-like flower. Not a mashed potato spoon, Michelle. And this is a tulip. I think I got that right. If I watch the garden video from Dolores, I might know my flowers better. Um, yes, yeah, see, I got it, Julie. Parents are getting better, good. And going back to San Diego to see them. Each one of the spoons is about four and a half inches tall. So they're, lo they're long. <laughs> if it's getting the spoon food to my mouth, Carrie said, we don't care what kind of spoon it is. Yeah, but Carrie, I mean, if this is a dieter spoon because this, I, I use like more of a big old tablespoon versus a little one, but I have all five of these spoons let me see if I can get them up that all have an, a, each a different flower on them. And I, I'm not going to say they're silver or silver plate. I'm not going to say anything about them other than, well, this one has the back of the flower. So that's neat on the back of the spoon is the back of the flower. I guess this one does too. Well, they all do y'all. How about that deal? They got something on the front and the back. But I guess you could demitasse spoons, Terry. Um, but yeah, let me just show you the back of each one. It looks like the back of the flower. Um, but they do all have Holland, and I believe they are a set. They're going to be $5 number, they're going to be $12, sorry, $12 number 55, $12 number 55 for the set of the five spoons. Exercise and food. <laughs> All right. My goodness. Let's see. I see. Oh, there was a lot of interest in those. Well, good news. I've got more spoons. I see Michelle at Newton's Cupboard. Michelle, I didn't even show you those when I got those. I, you know where I got these? I think I when I went to Round Top, I got those. I was digging through some things. Thank you so much. Okay, next is just a really simple item. It does not glow. Let me just tell you that. It's just a clear seven-hole flower frog. Um, simple, but I know people are starting to make their tablescapes and put flowers. It's about an inch tall, and it's about two inches in diameter. It is $5, number 10. $5, number 10 for the glass flower frog. I know people are starting to do their flowers and stuff. So I wanted, I have a couple of those. It's, I don't have any metal ones. I've been looking for the metal ones, but I haven't found those. The next is another um, beautiful, I just love this figurine. Um, 
Oh, she put golf tees in those. You know, somebody else put marbles and y'all, I just hauled, I just bought a bag of marbles. It was like a goodie bag, but mid-century wasted and nesting haven said that some of the marbles glow and that's why i um did that one of my dreams is to go to round top well sarah lee you come on and i'll go with you they now have two they have a spring and a fall so um we will go and you know tammy from vintage Te uprising texas she'll go anytime she's probably been 15 times my next one is from k collect collections and i think i have something else from k collections but it is a beautiful little jesus with small child figurine and i love this now their eyes kind of creep me out a little bit but i get her awe here um, but it is a beautiful pot pastel and no chips or cracks, of course. Um, and it is glazed all the way, but it is just really pretty. Um, it is four and a half inches tall and it is three inches wide. And I thought this was just really sweet. I love it for regular decoration, y'all Easter, anytime like that. I think it is beautiful. Um, and this is $8, number 63. $8, number 63. Oh, yay. How about we got a place to stay, stay Sarah Lee? We can go to Miss um, Beth's house in Canyon Lake. So I just thought that that was really sweet. All right. Hey, Sabrina Simon. All right, my next item is a new old stock, and it is a double deck of star stardust coated plastic coated playing cards, and it is in its box. But I love the grooviness of this. I love the colors, and it does have. Um, it was. It is from Globe, maybe. Now I don't know if that we talked about this, whether it was from a casino or whether from a department store. But it still has the sticker on there, and it comes in the little box, and they're in their plastic. This is the colors on the first deck. I just love those and the Joker. Hey, sweet pick picks market. Miss Joyce, thank you for coming. And then this is the other one. Now there was a sticker of some kind on this, but I didn't put, there was not a sticker when I bought it, it was before. But look at those beautiful colors. And they are plastic coated and there's the Joker on that one. So this double deck that comes, it still has the cellophane on both of these and it comes in the plastic Stardust um, little box or $10 for both and it is number 79 $10 number 79 hey Aaron the collection vintage thank you so much for coming so those are really cool all okay I'm trying to catch up with the chat because I feel like I'm missing stuff um, mom says she's been to the stardust in Vegas and I see, let me, let me refresh to make sure y'all double check me. I see Christina for those. All right. Thank you, Christina. And I'm not sure you, are you using a different name? But I've had someone similar name to um, get those. So let me um, put those aside for you. If you have it, just go ahead and send me your information at this email right here and we'll get those to you. Okay, bunnies. These are super cute. These super cute bunnies. I put these on Instagram. Um, so the, there's two little brown bunnies. One is a very aerobic bunny. Look at that. Now, I am showing this before the haul comes out, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason is because it's Easter and I shop faster than I record videos, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but look at his little sweet face. He's very happy and very flexible. And then his partner over here, 
Oh, thank you, Christina. Thank you for coming and for bringing, uh, sending your information to me. And then look at the little partner, but look at, check at those eyelashes and those teeth. Now this is, this bunny is more me because she's just smiling and looking cute. This bunny is exercising. That must be lovey because I'm not going to exercise. So these two bunnies, I shop faster than I record. Yep. Yeah, the struggles, Kim. I mean, am I the only one that does that? They're $6. $6 for the bunnies. Ready? $26. $6 for the brown bunnies, number 26. I cannot be the only one that shops faster than I record videos. You just can't be. Can't be. And I see Side Street Market. Is that right? Side Street Market. All right. Christine, I'm glad you got those bunnies. You've kind of been coveting those bunnies. <laughs> but she's got a great little display. Have y'all seen her video about the Easter display? Go check out Christine's Easter home, core, uh, home decor video. I did one too. Um, and I just went crazy with the Easter stuff, I guess. All right, the next is another piece of linen, and it's um, baby slash Easter. So, Miss Jeannie, if you are still here, check this out. It is a, a vintage piece, um, and someone gave this to me. Sorry, y'all, I'm dropping stuff. But it is a crib quilt or a wall hanging, but I don't know how you would hang it, but it's a crib quilt, and let me show you. It's pretty big, so I'm going to open it up. But let me hold it up first. I don't know how well y'all are going to be able to see that. So I'm going to show it to you first, and then I'll show it to you up close. And let me show you up close. It's got beautiful colors. See the little pastel colors in it? And then let me bring it up. See the little bunny family and the pictures? And then let me do the middle. If I don't knock something over. See the little bunnies, y'all? They're so cute. And on the back, in this suite, it is darling. And yes, Michelle, it's darling. She picks on me because I say everything is darling. And the, on the back, there's just some extra bunnies everywhere. So let me see if I can show you. There's like bunnies playing right here. There's some other bunnies right here. If this is a bunny, whole bunny family and they even have a cat on the bed. There's some bunnies playing right here, but it's just another, there we go. And I'm going to give you the dimensions, but it's on both sides. Let me see if I can stand up. If y'all can see that a little bit better. Do you see it? It's so cute with all the bunnies in the bed. And it does have a beautiful little eyelet ruffle all the way around it. And it's, it's pretty big. I'm going to give you, it is four foot by three foot. Four foot by three foot. Um, and it does have a crib sheet with it. And if you want it, you can have it. But if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Um, but the crib sheet is the same as the back with all the little bunnies. It does have a little crib sheet with it. And I'm just going to give that to you if that's what you want. Some people may not want it. But it is $12 and it is number 41. I love it. It is so sweet. That would be special for some bunny. Good job, Michelle. You don't have to call me darling, darling. Um, but I just thought that was so, so sweet. And I wanted to give y'all an opportunity to um, see it before I took it to the booth. But I just think this is so cute. And let me see. I see old stuff, Beth. And Beth, do you want the crib sheet or you don't want that one? You let me know. 
I was actually using that in my cradle that my daddy made for me that has my baby dolls in it in this other room. I'll send it to you. Thank you. I'm going to put plus the sheet. Um, and I was using it, but I thought, you know, it's just too cute. I thought about putting it on that bed um, just to like dress it up for Easter, but I just thought that was so cute. All right. Thank you so much. I'll get that to you, um, Beth. And the next piece is another piece of ephemera. This is another um, 19, what is this one? This is a 1913, April 1913, but this is a much thicker book, uh, not as long. It is a modern, the bride's number, the modern Priscilla book. And I wanna show you, it does say April, I think it's 1913. Now this has 62 pages and it does have a lot of ads, but it also has a little bit of water. It, I don't know if that's water damage. Um, it looks like it got moist, not wet. But this has a lot of great ads. This one has the ivory soap ad, which these ivory soap ads are amazing. That is an ivory soap ad. But look at that bride picture. I thought that was beautiful. Um, but there are 62 pages in this. There's several ads in there. Now, there are a couple of pages that have this watermark on there, but it's from 1913, y'all. And it's all put and it's all together. Here's a, is it Niles face cream? And this is Dr. Parker Praise toilet preparations ad. Well, everybody needs that ad. That's just amazing. Isn't that that great? That's that's wonderful. That's fabulous. Um, let's see what else is in here. Lots of fashion. Oh, look at that fashion. But several of the smaller ads that would be great for junk journaling those little ones, but there are 62 pages in this book. Um, let me see. There was another really great one. Oh, a jello. That's what it was. So look y'all look at the jello ad. See the jello ad right there. And then on the other side, they have recipes. And I thought that was so cute. So yeah, the waist sensor, I don't even think it would go on me. It is $12 number 50, $12 number 50 for the 1913 Modern Priscilla magazine that is 62 pages. I just thought that was darling. And I see Janice Stevens. Yeah, I can't, there's no putting that on my waist or any part of me at all. <laughs> Y'all can hang that up, maybe my wrist. All right. I, she put a, made a video on your phone, but couldn't figure out how to put on your YouTube channel. You should be like, I upload it and save that video to my actual phone, Miss Jeannie. And then I upload it from YouTube. Because I, I use iMovie, so maybe it, that will help. I use iMovie. I edit and everything. I save. I I save it to my phone and then upload. Go to YouTube and hit upload from my phone. So maybe that will help you. All right. Let me see. We are about halfway through, so we're doing pretty good. Um, let me see. The next one is not an vintage item, but it is super super cute. Um, and I thought it would be great for a planter or something. Look at this darling little mug. I think the tag that was on here was one of those K's collectibles, like this piece, like the little Jesus with the child figurine, but it is a little mug. Now there may be some crazing. It's light crazing, but the best way to tell about that is to put water in it. And then you'll see the lines. But I thought she was super cute. She or he, 
with the ear, one ear is made into the handle and the other ear. But if you put a little plant in there or some Easter grass and then some flowers in there, that would be cute. And she is, he or she, I think it's a she, she has a bow, but you never know. Um, bunny mug is $5, $5 number 39, $5 number 39 for the bunny mug. You're going to iron those papers, Miss Janice? Ah, you're a brave woman. <laughs> I see you, Rose. You must have snuck in. I didn't see you before, Miss Rose. Thank you for coming in. I didn't see Miss Rose coming in, but thanks, Rose, for coming in. And that's cute. That's super, super cute. All right. The next is an offer up, y'all. And the offer up is going to start at 15. I also um, put this on Instagram. It is an absolute beautiful piece. It is cruel work and it is unframed. And it is the Last Supper. I this, There's an amazing amount of work in this. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you up close because it, it is just amazing. I thought this was beautiful. But let me show you. I'm going to tell you. Uh, let me show you up close first. I'm trying to see in my iPad what you guys can see. And I didn't iron it yet, but before I send it to you, I will I get a little bit of iron under a cheese cloth, under like a another cloth. But it is absolutely beautiful. The work in this is amazing, and it's unframed, so um, it would be easier to ship and lightweight. Let me give you the dimensions. It did start at 15, so if you are interested, put 15 in. I really like this. I like it in its ruggedness too, but, um, oh, I think I already, it's 19 by 17. 19 by 17 inches is this piece. So I'm, I'm just going to wait a few minutes to see if we have any interest in that. I just think it is beautiful, but it folds up very small. Um, you could frame it or you could leave it unframed, but y'all, I just think it's beautiful. And I, I need to look, maybe that it will go in that, remember that frame that I got that nobody wanted me to paint. And I'm going to check to see if that, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to check to see if that's it. So I don't see any interest in the cruel piece. So, and that's fine. We will revisit that. Um, and if someone is interested, then they can let me know. This is another piece of, um, a 1991, um, Mervyn's, um, set, but I found another piece of this. We sold Sleeping Grandpa the other, the other day, um, and you could make a pillow with it. Yeah, it would need to be, you would need to put something on the back and let that be the front, but it is very beautiful. Um, and I just, I'm just enamored, enamored at the work because I can't do it. Um, it is, Terry, it is, it is hand stitched. Um, I actually got this from a lady that's at my embroider, that is at my booth. Let me see if you can see how close that is. But she, it, it's her piece. She had some finished pieces and she had some not so finished pieces, but she said that she made them. I think it's hand stitched because she's got the stitching. Okay. So look, she has the stitching tied off under the next set. Doesn't that, isn't that hand stitched Terry? You'll have to let me know because she's got, she's got the extra on there. So like the pillow idea. Yeah. Yeah, we have to we have to multitask. And that started at 15 if anybody was interested in that. Um, and let me know. 
But the next is I found a daddy and a kiddo. Now there are the kiddo is in overalls and it's a baby because it's got the little bum piece on there. But look at this daddy and the little kiddo sitting on a log, the little bunny. Look at the little baby's bunny butt. <laughs> The things that entertain us. I just love the interaction between those two because look at the joy in that baby's face. And there's no chips or cracks or anything in this. The ears are all intact. Um, you've done that piece with pieces. You've done that with pieces before. Oh, tied it off. Um, it is $6 and number 18. $6 number 18 for the little 1991 Mervyn's dad with the baby um, bunny figurine. Oh yeah, Rose. Um, I see you, Miss Lynn, thank you. We have, um, we are not gonna be able, I'm supposed to be working from home too, but it's not working out like that. <laughs> I'm actually having to go in, um, but they're putting a stop to everybody working from home soon. So, okay. Okay, Terry, just let me know. Just let me know. Um, no big deal. We and, it, and if you want to think about it after the sale too, you can just email me right here and let me know. The next is a brooch, y'all. Got me a brooch. And I... Um, I consulted the expert, Miss Dam Jewelry, Dolores, all the way in the UK, y'all. Um, but this is now when I when we talked about it and I had done a little bit of uh, research before, but um, it was it's called a grandmother's brooch. The style is called grandmother's brooch. She says that it's probably 70s. Um, let me show you. I did show it on Instagram this morning. It's a bigger brooch and it's a heavier brooch. What did you say, um, Miss Dam Jewelry, that Dolores, that this is like ceramic with the decoupage is how they were making those. The gold is the gold pieces here are really thick. It does have the C clasp right there that is functional, fully functional. Um, comes up and out there. Um, and let me tell you the dimensions. It's going to be $12. Um, it is about, it's a little over, it's right at two inches, just a little shy of two inches long and about one and a half, uh, one and three quarters inches, um, wide. So this is how it would look on the, the shirt. But it is a little bit, it, it is, it is heavier. It's got some weight. These are not, this is not thin gold. It is $12 and it is number nine. Yes. Decoupage over ceramic. Yeah. She has some beautiful pieces, Janice. She really does. That is a good size. It's a pretty good size for that. Um, but those flowers, I just love those colors. I think this is the colors of uh, that, um, Vintage Uprising Texas says she want to do her kitchen. So it is $12, number nine, if anyone is interested in that. And I see Miss Sarah Lee. That's a good buy, Miss Sarah Lee. Hello, Miss Linda Clark. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you stopping by today. I'm so excited to see all these people coming today. All right, the next is just a fun piece, y'all. Just the fun piece. Um, it is a, it's not vintage, it's 2002, but it is a Warner Brothers piece. It's a Tweety Bird piece. Who doesn't love Tweety Bird? And it's just a little plate, I thought, for a grand kiddo or the back of a uh, Easter spring display. But with the butterflies and the colors, the rainbow and everything on that, it is just super cute. It is a Looney Tunes plate. It's got the weight and feel of restaurant wear. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it does have 2002 on that. It's just $5 and number 68, but I thought it was super fun. Thank you, um, Casey, for reminding everyone to give a thumbs up. Yes, Sarah Lee, I have your two bunny towels too. I have your two bunny towels. Yes, ma'am. I sure do. 
But I love that little Tweety plate. It reminds me of my um, ex-mother-in-law. She was the sweetest person ever, but she loved her some Looney Tunes, y'all. And she always had like a Tweety plate, a Tweety shirt or something on there. But I thought that was super cute. I might put that up in a display. That's that's cute. Um, the next is a Mother's Day item, and it's a vintage postcard. I've had a couple of these before. They're foam postcards from 1996. But this is Mother's Day. Again, another great display, or you can technically mail it, but it does, it's a little just, there's one of our spoons, y'all. It says, thinking of you, mom, happy Mother's Day. It's a beautiful little setup. It is one of the foam board um, postcards, and it is from the Mailbox Surprises, 1996. You can mail these. I've mailed some other ones. Um, there's, I had a whole bunch of them, and I was sending them off. Um, but this is going to be $4. would be great in a display, too. But $4 for number 73. $4, number 73. I really like that. Okay. <clears throat> She's fighting cats, y'all. Fighting cats. Yes, Miss Sara Lee has two bunny uh, towels, too. And I see Miss Susical. I really like that postcard. That That's really pretty. That That's really, really pretty. So thank you for picking that up. All right. The next is a lot, little piece of Tonala. I did not show this on Instagram. Um, I only have one question. It is a cat. It is a practice piece. I did get it from my um, Emporium owner. Um, and she it, it was hers. It was her collection. I got several pieces. But it's a little tiny piece. But my question is, why are you so angry? That is an angry cat. It's kind of like an angry Mexican cat. <laughs> but look at those eyes, y'all. Now, he's not a very big piece. No, he is not signed. He is the gray speckled um, clay or pottery underneath there. The whole top is glazed. This is the back. But, oh, my gosh, just the nose. You can tell it's a practice piece, and that's what she said. They as And I think Debbie, I talked to Debbie a little bit about it, too. But um, this is just the gray pottery piece. He is about one and three-quarter inches long. He's hilarious to me and about one and three quarter inches tall at the head. But look at that angry little face. Why are you so mad, Mr. Gatto? I think he's hysterical. Salvador Do Dolly Cat. Yes. But he is super cute, y'all, with the old man mustache. Yeah. So I'm actually going to only sell this for $7. $7, number one. $7 number one for this. He does have a mustache. Y'all, he's just, I couldn't get over his face. At first I was like, oh my gosh, he's kind of ugly. But then when I looked at him and I was like, you are hysterical. <laughs> I just love that. All right. I see, the first one I see is Linda Clark. Can anybody verify that for the angry for the angry cat, Tonala cat. Uh, he would definitely stir up some conversation. He might be hangry. At, you're lucky. Hey, Barb Lee, I see you came in. And Linda, I saw you came in too. The sniper move. All right. Thank you so much. Linda, I'll get that out to you. But I just couldn't pass him. He, he is funny. He was too funny. Okay, I told you I was doing linens. This is the last piece of linen I had. But y'all, when I found this, um, I actually thought I was going to use it, but it's a king. And I don't have a king. That's right. We sleep in a queen because we're better together. And we're hanging off, but <laughs> trying to get our own space. But mainly I picked it up because I love the colors. It is a flat sheet only. And I've never done anything like this, but look at the colors. 
I love the colors. I love the pattern, the print, everything about this. I think originally when I got it, I would I didn't know what size it was, um, but it is a king. There is a tag in here that indicates that it's king. I think I was going to originally use it for my bed. It is a Wamsuda Ultra Cow. It's 50% cotton and 50%. It's a Wamsuda. I, I don't know anything about that, but let me show you the label on it. Can y'all see that? It does say King on there. But when I realized that it was too big for the bed, I thought, well, I'll use it in display in the spring. Um, but it is a beautiful piece. There was nothing wrong with it. No tears, no stains, no nothing. Again, I thought it was going to fit my bed, but it does not. And then I thought, well, I'll use it for display. Um, it's a good brand. Well, good. I didn't know that. It is $12 for that king size. I just love the print, y'all. I mean, how festive and fun. Even if you just paired it with a white sheet underneath or yellow oh, or pink, that'd be so pretty. And it is number 34. Hey, Mary, thank you for coming. Yeah, can't convince your... I just don't want that much room taken up in my bedroom with the king bed. That's just me. So it is $12, number 34 for the king size flat sheet with the spring pattern on that. All right. The next is, I have shown this several times. I'm going to, uh, you could make little summer outfits out of it. You could, Sarah Lee. I can't sew on a button. Oh, you're a queen, Beth, with a queen bed. That's true. That's true. I, yeah, I, I don't even know if I would like a king bed. My mom has one of them great big king beds. What is that, a California king that you have, mama? And I mean, it's like you're like, hello. <laughs> no, I just I don't like that. But I've showed this before. I'm going to show it again because when I get time, I'm going to make it my own assemblage out of this. And then people are going to look at these much differently. Sorry, Carrie. That's, I just have to be real. Um, but it is a baby planner and I have showed it more times. These are going to be, this is going to be $5. This is the only one that I'm going to show. Patrick gave me the idea of doing like little chicks and things in there. This is that Nancy, it's P-E-W Poo um, designer, but it is super cute. Now I'm going to make next, before next year, I'm going to put an assemblage in. I have a train and a little carriage, but they make great centerpieces for a baby shower or just to give as a little present. But this is just a little cradle. This is $5, number 59. $5, number 59. Yeah, that's how I feel too, Miss Jeannie, is that the, the room is just too small. I like big beds and I cannot lie. So I'm excited to, to work with these um, if they don't sell because I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make those assemblages. Y'all just watch. Yeah, too far away. What if I want to tell you something? Then I have to like shout. No, that's no. Um, okay, so let me go to the next one. The baby planner was number 59, $5. And the next one that I have is a Japan bird figurine. Um, and I thought this was really cute. It is marked Japan or stamped Japan on the bottom. And then this is the little bird. It's got blue, a little bit of brown, some pinks, great colors in there. No chips or cracks. There was some cold painting. It looks like on his beak. Um, like right. I'm going to see if I can show y'all because you can see the color hold on y'all right here can you see that there was color right here on his beak but it looks like it was cold painted she said she'll just text them yes dogs take up all the space he's number he's six dollars he or she but it's got all kind of colors thought it was great little display piece number 60 six dollars number 60 michelle said she'll just text her husband now I might want to tell you something. All right. 
The next is Linda Clark. I see you for number 60. Make sure I'm right on that. Okay, I will put that with your angry little gato over there. All right, the next is a, um, it's getting time for spring and summer, y'all. So I busted out the night. I had another 1976, I think it is. I had two of these. This is no, let me lie. Don't let me lie to you. It's a first printing, November 1976. It's an hors d'oeuvres, appetizers, spreads, and dips. And I did get two of these at the same time. I don't know. I just thought if one was good, two was better. Um, but he, it does have a few pictures in there. It has, let me tell you what all is in here. Oh, there's a little spread for you. Why was everything so dark in the 70s? There's hors d'oeuvre, the hors d'oeuvre experience from preparation to presentation. Dips, spreads, and fondues, smooth and mellow or hot and spicy. Hot appetizers from the oven, the stove, or the barbecue. Cold appetizers, cool and refreshing, make ahead, and party menus. Nothing to it. Wine tasting and ethnic themes. Well, there you go. That's the index of this. Hey, Day Trip Vintage. I think that's Julie too, right? Want to make sure that I'm trying to learn everybody's name. Hot appetizers. Is it her or the appetizers that are hot, y'all? Just saying. Oh, I'm not going to eat that. Y'all know I'm not going to eat that. Oh, no. I don't even, I don't want any of that cold shrimp stuff. They got some, I like the little clothes though, the little jazzy clothes that they're wearing. And then here's the party time. Again, I had <laughs> Pickle It was the drugs. They were all partying in the dark. So color really didn't matter. I hear you. This 1976 hors d'oeuvre cookbook is $5 number 11. Good point. Good point. Um, oh my gosh, that's funny. The $5 number 11. That was a good one. Okay. The next is a little Easter piece. It's just a little egg cup. And it's simple. It is It is marked made in Portugal. I'll show you that on the bottom first. If I can get it to... Can y'all see that? And it's just a little chick egg cup. Like what came first? The chicken... Or the egg. I don't know. But it is $5 number 40. $5 number 40 for the little chick egg cup. I thought he was super cute. I think you're right, Julie. Oh, bye, Janice. Did I did Janice have to go? Thanks for coming, Janice. All right. I miss, I missed that she was leaving. Oh, Christine, I have you for the chick cup. I got a chick cup for the chick, Christine. I'll get that over to you. Maybe you can put some peanut butter eggs in there. I mean, if you had any, I'm just saying, if you had any, you would, um, you'd be able to. The next is an offer up. It is going to start at 15. And it is a Nippon piece. And I had shown this before. It's, I'm going to show you the Nippon. It is hand-painted Nippon. There. And it is the little bowl like this, but it has the bluebird. So $15 is the start. It is hand-painted. It has flowers and a bluebird here. And then another little bluebird there. Hey, Daniel, how are you? We're rushing through. It does have the gold, um, the handle and the trim around there. So this is a beautiful, you can put your starting bed of 15 in there. I know Daniel and Catherine are getting ready for their little sale. Daniel's going to be a little guest on there. So the Nippon Bluebird dish starts at 15. I see vestments and vintage starting us off at 15. Let me give you the dimensions of it. 
from end to end. It's eight inches long and it is three inches, just shy of, just a little above three inches from the handle. And I mean, it's kind of hard from the handle, from handle to handle, it's four inches. So from here to here, it's four inches. The height is three inches. And I think this, what did I say was eight inches. So let me show you the hand painted Nippon again with the bluebird. We're at 15. Uh-oh, Julie, you moved through all your chocolate. They are really pretty. It is a hand painted, painted piece. It does have Nippon on the back of it, hand painted Nippon. So we have a starting bid of $15. If you're interested in more than in getting it from above 15, go ahead and put your offer in. The next one would be 16. And we'll just wait just a few minutes and then we'll count down on that. That's a great bargain on this. I think the ones on eBay were up in the late, the deep 20s. But I don't do eBay. So I just ship it right to you. So I see that we have one for 15 and that is vintage investments and vintage. And I'm going to count that down from five, four, three, two, and one it is going to be sold for fifteen dollars and miss dolores will put in it is vestments and i'm gonna get that wrong every time i'm gonna switch it around okay that's poor thing i did tammy the same way i did hers the same way the next is a dark a bowl and I think Misty's had one of these just like it so I did the same thing that that she did it's about the going right this now I say dar if y'all could um talk to me I've heard other people say dahar it's a d-a-h-e-r um so I said dar and it is a beautiful bowl with these beautiful colors now I know postcards and patina christina got the tin that matched this and it looked beautiful in her display and it's a rather large piece um it is going to be eight dollars who else is having a sale next didn't catch their name hey tammy at vintage uprising texas i was just talking about you how i've flipped your name a thousand times um and we went to round top um this is 10 inches and in diameter, and it is one and a half inches tall. It is $8, number 23. $8, number 23 for the Dar, Dahar, however you want to pronounce it. Beautiful little bowl. Great centerpiece for fruit and everything. That would be beautiful. And I see Sabrina Simon. Thank you, Sabrina. Um, the next sale, I think that um alex and miss pamela are having one at one um so in about 30 minutes or so and then i think Catherine and daniel um are y'all having one at, i think it's one uh, two i can't remember y'all can put it in there um thank you sabrina i'll get that to you well let me put this over here Okay, the next is a three-footed little egg, open egg. And this is what it looks like. It has got beautiful blue flowers on that. It's a mini, but I wanted to show you what it would look like with some flowers on it. Sorry, I probably need something to drink or eat. I'm getting a little shaky. Um, but it does have the beautiful blue flowers on there. They appear to be hand painted because I can see the raised paint over the little dots in the center. And it is um, signed D Bean. 
Can y'all see the signature there on that? And I done shook this right out of there. But let me take this out so you can see. It is a smaller three-footed little open egg. But I think it's beautiful as a little planter. Let me tell you how tall it is without that. It is going to be $8. It's two and a half inches. It's two and a half inches tall. It's going to be $8, number three. $8, number three. Thank you, Miss Jeannie. Okay, Daniel says one central is their little sale. I know he's a guest on her sale. Catherine's sale is the her I'm talking about. So $8, number three for the little open egg, three-footed. I think it's great with a little planter. Now, those are fake, but hey, D, thanks so much for coming. I just showed what they call a Jeff egg. Um, a little open Jeff egg, a small one, this little blue one. And I think it's hand painted because it's got the signature right there. So yeah, this was $8 number three for that. Okay. What's next? What's next? Oh, I have a couple of odd pieces, but I think they'll be beautiful come spring for a display. Thank you, Erin, for coming by. I really appreciate that. It's a Japan cup, and it's, it is marked Japan on the bottom, but it's just a little, I don't know if this is a soup. I'm sure not sake. That's just too big, but I love the pattern on this. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you could use this for anything. Q-tips in the bathroom. You could put some Easter grass in there. I put a little faux flower on there. But even with some greenery, I don't have enough greenery, but you can get the gist of how that would look. I think this is really cute. It is $6, number 71. $6, number 71 for the little Japan cup. I thought it was super cute. I need to move all this foliage. Dia got my bink sticker. I'm so excited about that. All right. The next is a piece of pottery from Portugal. It's a pink little Easter tray. And it is Bordalho Panero. I'm sure I'm butchering that. But it does have crazing and it is made in Portugal. I had to talk to Debbie about this because she has a piece of this too. Looks like a Mismo soup, soup cup. I don't even know what that is, Sarah Lee. Um, who is the, who are the channel that you're asking for? Sarah Lee, somebody's asking you, but look at the front. Isn't that beautiful? I love the shape and the design of this. It is a Portugal piece. It does have crazing. I want you to be able to see the crazing in that. Um, but I did, you, you're welcome to look this up. Um, while I'm showing it to you, it is a pink bunny plate, Bordalho Panero. It is a Portugal pottery. It is $15, number 54. $15, number 54. Yes, it is gorgeous. And I thought it is beautiful for spring, the whole spring. Um, not just Easter, but spring. And I know it's a little late for Easter things, but um, it just kind of snuck up on us and I do not have any chips on that, on the around piece. And Terry, I see you for the pink Easter tray, which I'm calling the pink Easter tray. Thank you. I will get that on over to you. Let me put that back so we don't drop it on my new tile floor. All right couple more things and then we're going to run through the things that did not sell. Just another bowl with flowers. It's going to be $6. This is a Napco. It is made in Korea for Napco. I'm going to show you the bottom first. But again, just the beautiful bowl. Could be you. I mean, I see a succulent in there or a plant in there. Maybe the succulents would do better because it doesn't, it's ceramic. But I love the colors in this. Could go for spring or it could go for um, all the way into fall because it does have some browns in there. 
but this little Napco bowl is $6, number 31. $6, number 31. Oh, okay, Terry, thank you. I got gotcha. you. $6, number 31 for the little Napco bowl. Oh, it is very pretty, Julie. Um, and Sabrina, I see you for that. And let me know what you're going to do, do with that, Sabrina, because I saw greenery in it, but I also saw candy in it. But I think that's just, that's just my norm. I just see candy and stuff. <laughs> I like me some candy. Um, okay. The next is, oh, I got to bring some stuff over. But the next is a set of ceramic buttons. Now, I've showed a couple of sets of ceramic buttons um, I'm not sure that these are big enough or the style that, um, is it Maria, can use. But these are spring. These would be great embellishments for pillows. Um, I just love them. But there are six of these. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, six. Um, they are two whole ceramic buttons. And let me show you another card behind it. But this is, and they are hand painted and they are glazed. This is a little flower pot. This is a little window. Oh, that's the other one. That's the, that's not this one. That's the uh, cookbook. This is a little window with flowers in it. Like a, a window, a box. These, this is another basket with the flowers. And I think it would be beautiful, like I said, embellishments on pillows. But these came from clothing. They used to have this place called Buttonhead Dresses. And they made beautiful little butt, uh, dresses. And they all had a theme to them. And this is a cart full of flowers. Well, thanks, Thrift You. I do what I can. I do what I can. Um, the watering can. The little watering can is cute. And lastly, look at this one, y'all, is a little bluebird. Hey, Frugal Magpie. So there are six of these. The, the bird, the watering can, the wheelbarrow or cart full of flowers, um, a basket of flowers, the flower pot and the window all six of these are eight dollars number two eight dollars number two for the six spring ceramic they are hand painted with two buttonholes and um, i thought they were super cute great for embellishing pillows like i said but i think wraps around i was thinking like putting a wrap or a ribbon around maybe like a planter, a regular terracotta planter with a spring, and then putting the ribbon through those two holes. That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Oh, a Japanese bra. Thank you, Sara Lee. I'm not, I'm not fancy. So I don't, I don't know. But thank you so much for telling me that Mismo she was talking about. The yellow, um, yes, Daniel, um, and I thought about you because you said that you really like that. But yes, the music box, Miss Susical picked that up. Thrill of the Thrift, Miss D, you got it. For the, the six buttons. And that's good because I was fixing to send her something. So I'll get that to you, a D. The next is something simple, really simple. But I love it because it's thick, you know like me. Um, it's clear, thick glass creamer. Look at this. Clear. It does not glow. Y'all, I checked it. It does not glow. But look how thick this glass is. I love a thick glass, especially clear, because you can put candy in it. Um, you can also put any kind of flower or greenery or whatever you have in there. That would be really, really, really pretty. Um, I just like to use different things um, it's only one. It does have the starburst type on the bottom. I see absolutely no mark on this whatsoever. No chips or cracks. But again, look how thick that is. It is $6 and number 20. 
Oh, Dolores says pretty with some fairy lamps. Oh, you want me to send those to Maria? Yes, ma'am, I will. I will. I know I sent her some of the other ones. So I just love this. I think there's so many things that you can do with the clear glass creamers. And it does have some weight on it. It does, it does honestly have some weight, weight on there. Okay. Another little odd piece that I have, again, I just was looking at all things that related to planters and spring. This is a Mikasa piece from Japan. It's the Vista. Um, I think that's the pattern, if I'm not wrong. See my other message. Yes, I'm going to send it to Maria. Is that what you were talking about, D? Sending the buttons? Because I have, I have D got the buttons. Was I right about that? Okay. And she said, yes. Yeah. So D got the buttons and she's having me send those to Maria. Okay. But the little, this is just a little cup. I love the pattern on this one too, y'all. I'm just a sucker for these little pretty patterned um, pieces that have the flowers. Because I just think you can do so much with it. You know, it could be used for many things, the cotton balls, the Q-tips, a planter, um, fill it with a sweet treat, give it as a gift, put teas and stuff in there. It's $5, number 46, $5, number 46. It's Miss Sarah, the queen herself, Miss Sarah. It is $5, number 46 for that little cup, Mikasa cup. All right. I think a lot of people are waiting on this and it is an offer up. Um, so it is an offer up and it is a fairy lamp. It's a different kind of fairy lamp and I'm starting it low. Um, and it's going to start at $12. Let's see if I can get it over here without dropping it. I thought it screamed springtime. So if you are interested in this, it starts at $12. And this is it. It is a beautiful blue and white porcelain fairy lamp. It has the gold at the top. It does have a base. And you put the little, I wouldn't put a candle in there. Maybe somebody, I don't think so. I could be wrong. Um, Newton's cupboard is out the box with 25. Um, and this is an Andrea by Sedeck. No chips, no cracks. And um, I will say that my own stepmom tried to buy this yesterday from Instagram. And I told her, you got to watch the live save because <laughs> it's an offer up. <laughs> it is. I have never seen another one like this. Um, now I'm, I'm new, so they could be out there. So don't shoot me, but I just love the blue and the white. And I think with a little, uh, battery lit candle in that, that is going to be beautiful. Barb Lee is at 27. Let me give you the dimensions to the top of the knob, to the top of the, the top of it, where the little knob is, it's five and a half inches. That's the little cloche with the base on it. Um, and it looks like somebody did have a candle. Why would y'all do? Why would that happen? And it's four inches in diameter. Barbly is at 32. But here's the base. It does have the gold trim around there. There are no chips or cracks whatsoever. I just thought it was beautiful, y'all. And when I saw it, I was like, yo, that's a fairy lamp. Well, it was seated, seated like this. And I was like, no, those go together. Um, I have 37 is what I see on my end. Yeah, the blue and white is beautiful. But how spring? That, that's very spring. With yellow accents, y'all, that would be so pretty. Newton's Cupboard is at $40. And I thought the blue and white, um, yeah, 
but the design in it, I love the little simplicity of that. There's no wear on Barbley is out. The cobalt blue stuff around it. Yeah, Sarah, you're right. That would be really pretty. But again, here's the Andrea Sedek piece on the bottom. And it is made in the Philippines. So right now it is Newton's cupboard at 40. Do I have on the veranda at the dinner table. Well, physical, aren't we fancy? I'm thinking just put a light on it and put it by my bed because it's so pretty. <laughs> Rose is at 41. Newton's cupboard is at 45. Susical said she's out. Yeah, Rose is at 41. Newton's Cupboard is at 45. <laughs> Don't say sorry, Rose, if you want to bid on it. But I was um, really excited to find that. So, yes, bath time to make ambiance. Rose is at 46. But here's, let me show you the, the top. There's no um, gold paint loss there at all and it has got the gold trim all the way around it's not heavy the cloche is not heavy now the base has a, a little bit of weight but not super heavy nothing like that ellie smith stars and bars holy cow that thing is so heavy i know because i just shipped one to the uk <laughs> so i know but yeah it is it is really really beautiful and i have rose at 46 If you're out, let me know you're out. I have Rose at 46. Newton Cupboards is out. Well, she says she's going to pout, so I'm guessing that she's out. Um, wee wee. Yes, they are. Sarah, they're so heavy. I'm like, holy cow. And then bless Doris's heart because I mailed it so long ago. It went from here to Chicago, then back to Dallas. And I'm like, why is it in Dallas? Okay, I have Rose at 46. Is that everybody? Rose at 46 for this um, Andrea Sedek made in the Philippines fairy lamp. It's beautiful. I hated to part with it. So I'm gonna count down from five. That's my stomach growling, by the way. Five. Four, oh, three, Dolores said it was worth every penny, two, one, and it's going to be sold. For $46, make sure I'm right on that, to Miss Rose. Thank you, Rose. Michelle, I'm so sorry. If I can get him to find me another one, and now I've told him, if you get a fairy lamp and you and I don't, and I'm not the first word person you call, brother, we're going to have some problems. So, you know, I've persuaded him so nicely to think about me. Um, so that's what I have. Let me go through the few items. Thank you so much for everyone who purchased something. I'm going to go back through a few of the things that did not sell. I see so many new people have popped in. Hey, Katie, I'm so excited to see y'all. Um, and so let me go back through really quickly because I want to try to be finished. It is almost one o'clock, right? Eastern time because it's almost 12 here. So I didn't want to overlap too much with Miss Pamela and um, with uh, chapter two, Alex, because I kind of want to go to the sale. So the ceramic cross that I said, baptism or Easter for a beautiful display, $6, number 70. Even my mama said that's a pretty piece, Rose. So good job on that. 
Make sure, yes, thank you, Katie, to hit that. If you're leaving, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for coming. Um, if you're staying to see what did it sell, then just um, hang tight because we're going to go through these fast. The first one was the ceramic glazed cross, $6, number 70. Thank you, Sarah Lee. The next thing was the bride bunny trinket dish, just a little bride bunny trinket dish. It was $4, number 66. $4, number 66. Okay. And the next one with Mother's Day coming was the Mother's Day plate that I think would be beautiful. Sue, I see you for number the bride bunny. Thank you, Sue. Let me put him over here so I don't drop him or sell him again. Um, the Mother's Day I thought would be beautiful displayed with pictures of mothers and grandmothers all around that. That would be beautiful, especially if they were black or white. The little mother plate here is eight dollars sorry number 52 eight dollars number 52 thank you michelle thank you michelle michelle's so sweet to me y'all so many people are sweet to me i have had y'all would not my life is enriched by this community so thank you that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> um hey belinda good to see you um, thank you for coming. Um, let's see. The next thing was the spring salt, so the saucer and cup. Um, that was $12. It is a hand painted cup and saucer that matches beautiful again for display or for a gift. Put some sweet treats in it, y'all. I'm just saying, but here's the saucer all the way around. It is signed by the person who painted it on the cup and the saucer. And the, the weight is that of a uh, restaurant wear, not as thick, but it's not as thin as some of the others. And the thing that I like about it is the ridged piece right here, but it is hand painted. It does match. It is $12, number 21. And with a few things of like coffee or tea or chocolates in there, that's your own kind of Mother's Day. Um, or birthday gift. I thought that would be beautiful. Even put a little su succulent in there. That would be pretty too. Yes, she does decorate with that. I think in the kitchen, right, Michelle? All right, let me see. The next thing was the little white goose. Got to find the little white goose. Yeah, it is perfect for tea and toast. Does the tortilla count? Because I usually don't have bread around here. It's a tortilla that I put on the stove and heat it up. Um, the little, this one is, I can't tell if this says Taiwan or if it says Japan. I really can't tell y'all. It's bone china. It's a little goose. Tea and scones for all us fancy people. It, this little goose is $6, number 32. $6, number 32 for the little white goose, who's very happy for spring. Super cute. Mom said, oh, Dolores, much better. All these fancy people. I'm like, can I, let me just tell you. Thank you, Sue. I see you. Let me just tell you what I've learned. I learned that if you eat a Twix and, this is how fancy I am. If you eat a miniature Twix and you eat a peppermint patty, Tastes just like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. I'm telling you. It, it's good stuff, y'all. That's what I'm doing over here. Y'all can have them tea and scones all you want. I'm having Sprite and 12 bags of candy, thanks to my friend Christine. Um, okay. The next was just a little flower frog, just because some people are putting golf tea. Some people are putting marbles. Some people are using it for flowers, but it is $5 for this little clear glass one. And um, it's number 10, $5, number 10. Katie says she loves scones with and clotted cream. I am sure that is lovely. But I see you, Sabrina. I'm stuck on the clotted part. I'm sure it's lovely. Don't get me wrong. 
Um, if you could just say whipped cream or icing or something that I know has a great sugar content, that would be wonderful. Uh, the clotted cream. Katie, tell us what, or somebody tell us what the uh, clotted cream is. Oh, she said vintage glass beads. All right. The next one was the religious statue. And I, I love it. I would probably, I'm going to keep it if it doesn't sell. But um, it is a Jesus speaking to a child. Um, and it is glazed. It is not marked other than Kay's collections, which means it's not old. I just thought it was beautiful. And I love the sentiment of it, quite honestly. Um, but it's $8, number 63. We're all children, so I love the way that she looks up at him. It's like a sweet cream that you spread on scones. It's a British thing. Why do we say British thing in a British accent? Which probably was horrible. But $8 number 63 for that. All right. Um, the other thing was an offer up that started at $12. And let me show this. Uh, Rose, I see you for number 10, but Sabrina had already claimed number 10. So, Rose, you may be lagging. They've already indicated that Sabrina got number 10, the clear um, flower frog. So this is an offer up, and it does start at um, $15. It's a beautiful, cruel piece. We did determine that it's hand done, um, and it is of the Last Supper. Now, people were talking about making it into a pillow. I thought about framing it, but I like the pillow idea, except that I can't sew at all, like at all. So, um, but I just will show you it, the, the colors and the details are beautiful in this. I really love, um, well, I, lo I love the depiction in the first place, um, especially this time of year. Um, and so I did want to show that to you again. It is started at $12. Um, no, I'm sorry. It started at $15 and it is 19. It's number 12 started at $15 and, um, it is an offer up. It is 19 by 17, 19 by 17. It did start at 15. And I know that somebody was thinking about it. Um, and again, always contact me after the sale. But that was $15. Number 12 was the start for that one. All right. And then uh, just something fun, uh, especially for kids. And I just love, oh, Lovey left. He went to the grocery store. Bye, Lovey. He'll probably text me and say bye. Was a 2002 Looney Tunes. I do know people collect Looney Tunes and we have some Tweety Bird fans, but it's just a springtime Tweety Bird little saucer. It's like a child's plate or a bread plate, but isn't that sweet? Um, and it is Looney Tunes and it does say 2002 on that. And this one was $5 number 68. $5 number 68. I probably should have done it before so it could be part of a like a, a Easter breakfast. But I didn't get that far in life, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I just didn't get that far. $5 number 68 for that little plate. You know, I do work in this other job. Woo, too much. Sue, I see you for the Tweety plate. Are you going to use it? Or are you going to... Um, going to give it to a kid or a grandkid. I think that I, I just love it. Let me get that for Miss Sue. Um, the next one was, and this one surprised me that it didn't sell, but it is a flat sheet, no tears, rips, stains, or anything. It is a king size. I bought it because I thought it was a queen, but then we had that discussion. Um, she says, my goofball hubby. Oh, so cute. Thanks, Debbie. But look at the pattern on this king size flat sheet. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And it did have a, um, a tag on it that says the maker, but I wanted to show you the design. Um, it's a big, king sheets are really big. 
That's why I don't like to help my mama make her bed. Because <laughs> her bed is too big. That's too much work involved. Where's the tag, y'all? I showed it to you one time. It is a, what was the maker of this again, y'all? Moo something? Mamstada? What was it? It is king. Oh, here it is. Sorry, my bad. No, Wamsuda. <laughs> Wamsuda. It is king. But I just love that. It is $12 number 34. $12 number four. No, $12 number 34. Yeah, it's time to eat. $12 number 34. She said he collects everything, unfortunately. But this is a big old sheet. I, you know, I think a table covering, that would be pretty for a table covering too. But on top of pink, a pink fitted sheet, that would be darling. Um, the other one was the baby planter. And I'm going to tell, I'm actually going to, you know what I'm going to do? I've got a couple of these. And I'm going to send, if this one doesn't sell, Miss Sarah, I'm going to send you a, one of these baby planters. And I want you to do an assemblage in it, like an Easter assemblage or, or spring or something like that. And, you know, in your spare time. And then I want you to sell it on your channel. But these little Nancy Poo um, baby uh, planters, I think they would be beautiful with flowers, greenery, or anything. It is $5. Might make a great shower curtain, maybe. $5 number 59. I think it would be a beautiful assemblage. Like if you had some vintage Easter and put some of those wire feed footed um, chicks in there. Hey, Miss Hot Mess Vintage. Um, she said, I'm from Brooklyn, but after this sale, I think I'm going to start saying y'all. It's not hard. It's easy. Um, but that one was $5, number 59. But I think Miss Sarah can make that look beautiful. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take her up on that. I'm going to send it to her. All right. Let's see what else didn't sell. The um, hors d'oeuvre cookbook. This is a 1976 first printing of the hors d'oeuvre cookbooks and it was five dollars number 11 it would even make good package toppers if you could get them i think they're on this the one page because i know michelle uses those it's several on one page yeah but five dollars number 11 for the cookbook and keep going down the list oh the other one wait that one did sell. I lied to y'all. The Nippon dish did sell. It did. I just want to make sure. The Nippon dish went to Vestments and Vintage. Sorry. And she got it for 15 I think. I'll have to go back and look at the chat. The other one that didn't sell was the little miniature footed, um, three footed egg open egg that is hand painted and signed. Let me see if I can get the signature to come up on there. And I thought it was super cute with greenery in it. Or, you know, I think they're toothpick holders when they're this small, right? But I think they're toothpick holders. I thought this was really, really sweet. Yes, Christine is now saying y'all. It's cute when she tries to say it, too, because she's from New York. Wait till she says five. Um, this is, where is it? This is, good Lord. It's $8 number three. $8 number three. I somehow lost the tag. $8 number three for the little, I guess Misty calls these Jeff eggs. But $8 number three for the little three-footed, um, I think it's a toothpick holder in, in all actuality. The other one was this cup. Newton's cupboard, you want the, the little egg? All right. Okay. Um, the next is the little Japan, which we have now known is like a, is it Miss? Missio, I have to go back. It's the broth, the um, the soup. It is made in Japan. 
It's just a little tiny soup. I think it's a soup bowl, but look at the beautiful colors on that. And it was $6 number 71. $6 number 71. Yes, y'all has two syllables. Like my name. My mama says my name is Bea. <laughs> it's only four letters. Got six syllables, but it's, it's all right. All right. Miso. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. The miso soup. Thank you for y'all letting me know. And Julie, thank you for letting me know again. That It's a cute little dish. Um, the other one was the clear creamer. Was $6, number 20. It does have some weight to it. It is super thick. I think it would be beautiful with candy or flowers um, in there. But $6, number 20. And then the uh, the last one that didn't sell is the Mikasa Japan little single cup is $5, number 46. $5, number 46. Colloquial for you all. First of all, who says you all? It's just y'all, ain't it? I don't know. All that education and I still talk like backwoods. So that is everything that didn't sell for the second round. I know people came in late, but I also it's 12.04 here. So 1.04 Eastern time. I don't want to take up um, anybody else's sale time. Um, so if something did not sell and you want to think about it, you can always contact me at uh, scprincess1 at comcast.net. I want to thank Dolores um, and Michelle so much for running the chat for me today and putting in the winners. Um, Dolores, you did a great job. Uh, again, send me your first and last name, your mailing address, including your zip code, and your PayPal email address to this email address, and I will start. Thank you so much, Terry. That was sweet of you to say that. Um, but I will send those invoices. I am off today, so I'm going to be watching sales and working on invoices today. Um, but it usually does take me because I, I go back to work on Monday, so I'm trying to get it all done this weekend. But if not, by Tuesday or Wednesday, you guys should have everything. Okay. Look, Christine, I said, you guys, I've been trying, I've been working on that. So thanks so much for coming y'all. And thanks so much for watching and hanging in there with me. Miss Rose, thank you so much for coming and Julie. Thanks. And until next time, y'all know y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming y'all. Bye mom.